So I got a question from Brandon about getting to an underhook from Butterfly Guard. So he says he likes to play Butterfly Guard. He's been using it, and now everybody in his gym knows that he plays Butterfly Guard. And so going for an underhook has become really difficult, right? And again, underhooks are one of the main things that we're going to use for sweeps uh, from the Butterfly Guard. So I'm going to show you guys an option here uh, to get this going. So let's turn this way just a bit. So what we're going to do is let's say we can't get in there and we can't get the underhook, right? I'm going to set it up with an arm drag, and I'm going to go arm drag over hook back to the underhook okay so from here what i'm going to do is i'm going to start by grabbing a wrist okay and again whenever we grab wrist very small detail but super important middle finger and thumb locks right around this bend so you got this little bony part of the wrist here it locks right onto that that's our control point if you want to have strong grips uh in nogi you got to make sure that you learn how to lock onto the joints and the bones opposed to just grabbing like parts of the body where it's like super meaty it'll slide right off but if you get to like the back of the joints there where the bones are, you can get a good strong grip, okay? Side tangent over. So we get the grip. I go for an arm drag here. So I want to pull this arm across, right? A very good attack in its own right. If I do this, what's going to happen is he's going to begin to pull back and try to resist this, right? This will now give me an overhook. And with the overhook in place, I can now go for the underhook here because I've got, I've got a nice enough grip my arm will be in the inside position. So if you want to think about this, we're always trying to control the space. Part of the way that he will defend me from being able to get the underhook is being able, being able to create some distance away from me. So by locking up this overhook here and having my arm right here, it has access to this underhook here. And again, from the other side, so you can see it, we're here and here getting our overhook. And again, this hand swipes up, right? We start low, walk it up, bang, ready to go. Now. With that in place, we have a sweep ready to go. So the idea, wrist control, back of the arm, we go for the arm drag. He begins to pull back to resist here. From there, we pull, scoop this up. And again, I'm taking my arm and trying to get his elbow right into the bend of mine, pull it tight. He's not gonna be able to get away from me now, get this underhook, and then at this point, we can set up our feet to scoot in and get the sweep. So. If any of you guys also had this question about how to get to uh, an underhook if the person's resisting, that is an option for you. Hope that helps. Talk to you next time.